Right now, a live report from Rock County where two people are discovered dead inside a residence. What we know at this hour. Also, southern Wisconsin wakes up to damage from last night's storms, mostly in the form of tree damage and power outages. And our Maddie Himes wants us to point out she is the very first person to take a ride down the tallest water slide in the country. We're going to the Dells' latest new attraction. All ahead on News 3 Now at 5. We begin with breaking news tonight. We are learning more about the married couple that Rock County Sheriff's deputies found dead in their home in the town of Fulton. Arman Rahman spoke to neighbors who say it is a tough day for their tightly knit street community there. Arman. Eric, I talked with a neighbor who called 911 this morning. He described the woman who lived in the home as a really good person. Now, Rock County Sheriff's deputies responded to the home on Newville Road around 730 this morning. Rick Edwardson says a woman wanted him and another neighbor to perform safety checks regularly and to enter if she didn't answer the door, but her truck was still in the driveway. She uh, checks in with, with the other neighbor across the, the road daily so that so that he knows that she's okay and you know everything is is good there so this morning we did the we did the the check and that's basically what we what we found was you know the crime scene Everson believed the woman was in her late 50s, but that hasn't been confirmed by authorities. They believe the incident was isolated to the home, so there is no threat to the public and there are no suspects. For now, live in the town of Fulton, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Armand, thank you. Also new tonight at 5, the DeForest man accused of plotting to sexually assault and kill a former classmate back in 2022 has been committed to 30 years in a state mental health facility. 21-year-old Gabriel Savage pleaded no contest last week to one count of attempted first-degree intentional homicide. He was found guilty but not guilty by mental disease or defect. Savage was arrested after police found him sitting in a vehicle near his former classmate's home wearing all black, carrying handcuffs, a semi-automatic rifle, and 180 rounds of ammunition. Both of these stories are new information into our newsroom. As more information develops, make sure to stay up to date with the latest. Make sure you download our News 3 Now app. You can find it for free. Just search WISC in your app store. New tonight at 5, the National Weather Service in Green Bay has confirmed two tornadoes touched down in north-central Wisconsin last night. The first was in the town of Unity, the second northwest of Edgar, both in Marathon County, resulting in many downed trees and other damage in both areas. Governor Tony Evers was in unity today surveying the damage. Meanwhile, in our viewing area, here is just some of the video from the storms last night showing the extensive damage that was left behind. That damage ranging from Dane County to Sauk County all the way down to Iowa County as well. We have been tracking the widespread storm all night long, bringing you the latest information for a look down at what's ahead. Let's get a look at your first warrant forecast. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington is outside tonight. We had some trees down right here, Alex. Yeah, Eric, we do. We have a huge tree, large, really a large tree branch. I can barely even get my arms around it earlier in our 4 o'clock show. It's probably 40 to 50 feet in length. And it's one thing when you're on the side of the camera doing those severe weather coverage, getting viewer photos. It's another thing to actually go outside and see some of the damage. My drive home, my drive back here to the station, unprecedented amounts of trees down across the Madison area. And Madison was not alone in our severe weather event yesterday widespread severe weather. Let's go to max one here. Not only did we have straight line winds, we possibly even had a brief spin up that made it to the ground near Belleville. Melissa, thank you for being brave and sending us this video, which is being analyzed as we speak by the National Weather Service for potential verification that maybe we had a brief spin up on that leading edge of those lines of thunderstorms making it to the ground as a tornado. Right now across southern Wisconsin, we're keeping an eye after last night's outbreak of severe weather. All those dots are severe weather reports, wind damage keeping an eye on a couple of isolated showers and storms that very isolated over southwestern Wisconsin. I'm looking over here because I can actually see the anvil of that thunderstorm that's over portions of Richland County and Iowa County, but this should be few and far between overnight. It's very dry out there. It's dried out. We don't have that humid air, so that's going to take away energy from showers and thunderstorms being widespread overnight tonight. But coming up in Maine weather, we're going to track 
yet another line of thunderstorms. When you can expect that line and if severe weather is possible, I have the answer in a few minutes. All right, Alex, thanks. And as most of us know, that storm packed a pretty big punch last night. We have team coverage bringing you the latest information as southern Wisconsin is still reeling from the damage from last night. And first, we turn to the power outages that thousands of Wisconsinites have faced in the hours since last night's storm. At the peak of it, more than 46,000 MG&E customers were without power. The utility telling us within the last hour, 75% of customers now have that power back. Will Keneally now with more on how that process is unfolding. Yeah, so we're here in Middleton. Um, a lot of residents have been facing power outages like we've seen across the viewing area. And MG&E here in town says they've been seeing a lot of issues like this. Strong winds bring down trees and, you know, take out some of these power lines leading into people's houses. Now, they say that those experiencing power outages right now could expect to see power outages continue for the next couple of days even. It's not a, a quick, easy fix, unfortunately. Um, you know, there's plenty of trees that have come down and, and, and power lines are wrapped up in the trees and, you know, it, it, it's quite a mess. And it, it unfortunately, it takes, it takes time to get at that stuff. And we'll continue to keep you updated throughout the night. Reporting from Middleton, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Well, thanks. And mg &E customers aren't alone with the outages. Here's a live look at the Alliant Energy power outage map. Over 4,000 customers remain affected here, with more than half of them being in Dane County. Green and Columbia County both have over 400 customers who are still affected. In response to the severe weather, the city of Middleton is now opening up temporary shelters for those affected. The buildings will provide essential services and shelter and will be equipped with other with to offer charging stations, Wi-Fi, and basic amenities for anyone affected by those power outages. The Middleton Police Department, currently the one location that's open 24 hours, but both City Hall and the Middleton Senior Center are open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. The public library is open Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Friday, it's open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And with the current power outages, UW Health temporarily closed two of its health clinics today. It comes after two of its clinics reopened when power had been restored earlier today. The Digestive Health Center and Cross Plains Clinics were closed today. In just the last hour, UW Health announcing that the Digestive Health Center will be open for appointments tomorrow, but the Cross Plains Clinic will be closed as they are still without power. Hour. Patients will be notified about rescheduling their appointments. And those storms we saw in our area prompted the Madison School District to cancel school for the entire district today. Our Jalen Banks caught up with the district on why the decision was made to close for the day. MMSD canceled school for the entire district in response to Tuesday's severe storms across southern Wisconsin, which created conditions for students, staff, and families that the district deemed is unsafe. The storms that ravaged southern Wisconsin on Tuesday damaged homes, knocked down power lines, and left debris in roads, which the district felt made school and travel conditions unsafe. We are always compelled to act in the best interest of the majority. And so when we started to consider kids potentially walking on sidewalks that had downed power lines near them or uh, parents and bus drivers um, trying to make their way to our buildings, we realized that it just wasn't feasible for us to uh, to open today. The district has three weather days a year, which they can cancel and not impact the end of the school year scheduling. Wednesday's cancellation being the third of this year. There are no plans for anything uh, in terms of uh, the end of the year to change. Um, everything is, is, is still on track uh, as of right now. For the time being, all after school programming will be determined. All early childhood programming is canceled and today is considered traditional non-school day, not an at-home learning day. We'll continue to keep you updated on the status of MMSD as they work back towards getting back to their regular scheduled programming. Reporting in Madison, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. And debris cleanup from last night's storms may take some time, which is why the city of Madison has set a date for damage cleanup. Beginning at 7 a.m. next Tuesday, May 28th, collection crews will begin to travel the city to pick up the debris. Residents are asked to place brush along the street with the least amount of traffic for crew safety. Limbs or branches must not exceed six inches in diameter, and the brush must be placed parallel to the curb with all cut ends pointing to the right as you face yeah. the street. Now, people across the viewing area woke up to the aftermath of the severe weather, and that includes a homeowner in Verona who had a large maple tree crash onto his home. Our Kyle Pazorski reports on the damage seen there. By the time the sun came out, the damage from Tuesday's storm became clear. It sounded like a truck ran into the house. This Verona neighborhood looked to be one of the hardest hit, with homeowner Phil Marshall leaving shelter to find a tree laying across his roof. 
severely damaging his dining room. I should have stayed in the basement, but I ran up to see what it was. Our first one meteorologist, Savannah Brito, going inside to survey the damage. Wow. Well, she always wanted a new carpet in here, so I guess she's going to get it. You told me you've lived here 43 years in this house, and you've never seen anything like this before. No, no. This is the first time anything this severe has, has happened. Meanwhile, outside, friends and neighbors looking in awe of the damage, while others already begin the slow process of cleaning it all up. And everything can be replaced, but life can't. In Verona, Kyle Pazorski, News 3 Now. And as cleanup is well underway for damage like that, there are people out there looking to take advantage. Our Braden Ross sat down with the Wisconsin Department of Ag Trade and Consumer Protection today to get you some tips on how to avoid a storm cleanup scam, Braden. Yeah, that's right. If you get a knock on your door from someone looking to help you with storm cleanup, you should be wary. There are two big types of scams to watch out for after a storm. In some cases, a company will give you a quote for some work. Then once they've done some of the work, try to raise the price on you. Other times, they don't even do any work at all. Those businesses uh, we are most concerned with tend to be from out of state. They swoop in, follow a storm. They will knock on uh, doors uh, within a neighborhood and promise to assist with cleanup. Um, they will ask for money up front. Um, they'll say they'll be back later in the day when really they're collecting those down payments and then disappearing. So how can you avoid scams like this? Well, the easiest way is to stick to people you know and trust, whether that's a contractor you've used in the past or you can research someone local with a good reputation. Also, don't be afraid to call your insurance company and always ask for a lien waiver before making your payments. Now, if you do need to file a complaint with DATCAP, you can do so on their website at datcp.wi.gov. Braden, thank you. And once again, if you're looking to share some photos or videos of any storm damage from last night in your area, just scan this QR code right there on your screen. Another way you can do it is by going to our website and here is how you can do that. Just visit channel3000.com and then on the weather page you scroll down to the section you see here and just click post your own. You can also scroll all the way down and click the submission forms button or you can simply email us a picture at tips at channel3000.com and as we learn more about these storms the ongoing cleanup and the latest from the National Weather Service as they survey the damage be sure to stay up to date with the latest by downloading our free first warn forecast weather app just search WISC weather in your app store. Just ahead your complete forecast as we look ahead now with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Plus, with a busy travel weekend ahead, the Wisconsin Dells gearing up with a new popular attraction or two this summer. We'll show you how. And on Wall Street, a down day for all major indices. The Dow taking the brunt of it here, down 202 points. The NASDAQ tumbles 31. S&P 500 falls 14. We'll be right back. Memories matter. I think the biggest thing I got out of my service in Vietnam was a real sense of patriotism. I'm very proud of what I did. I fought for you, and I'd fight for you again. This Memorial Day, we remember, and we never forget those who sacrificed everything for our freedoms. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Service, and we know that your memories matter. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. So get your summer started off right with amazing Memorial Day savings throughout the store. Right now, get a free $15 Blaine's gift card when you spend $75 on Purina Pro Plan dog or cat food. Pro Plan recipes are formulated using advanced, targeted nutrition to help your pets thrive as they age and develop. So find the right Pro Plan recipe for your dog or cat today. And if you need help, just ask a friendly, knowledgeable associate at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. You and running have been together for a while now. Fact is, so has Morgan's Good Form Running. We're here to help runners achieve their goals and push their limits in every sport or adventure they pursue. That kind of performance demands real innovations in technology, shape, and fit. And we're experts in all of it, so no matter why you run, your best race starts here. Morgan's Good Form Running, Hilldale. Blackberry smoke. Live in concert. Be right here to it. Saturday, July 6th at Ho Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Bells. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. Don't miss Blackberry.
Blackberry Smoke Live. Think Sloan's first. We've been with Sloan Implement since uh, uh, my father started farming, my grandfather started farming. They are a family business that's been around for generations, and that's very important to us. Think Sloan first now during the Green Tag sales event on a John Deere 1025R compact utility tractor. Your Sloan deal includes tractor, loader, plus mower deck. Get 1.9% for 84 months. That's just $232 per month. Think Sloan's first. Some local schools canceled classes today. We reveal why the district made this critical decision after storms last night. And then we look at the power restoration process after so many were still without power this morning. That's tonight on News 3 Now at 6. Tonight at 10, toxic water poisoned families at a military base. Now a local veteran shares his struggles applying for government help for his sick wife. They're fighting it. I'm looking for answers to why these toxic water denials keep happening tonight at 10. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Welcome back with Memorial Day weekend approaching. The Wisconsin Dells is gearing up with new attractions for the summer season. Our Maddie Heimsch got a sneak peek at what's new this year. Between restaurant upgrades and new resorts, there's plenty of stuff to check out at the Dells this summer, but there's one new addition I'm most excited about. The rise of the Icarus at Mount Olympus is the tallest water slide in the country at 145 feet. It opens Memorial Day weekend and beneath it will be a new splash pad and kid slide opening in July. We did a lot of research and we just wanted to make sure we brought the most new thrilling thing to Wisconsin Dells and Mount Olympus um, for our guests to experience. But while it may be the tallest, the rise of the Icarus isn't the only new addition to the area. A new resort at the Kalahari and a reimagining of one of the oldest restaurants in town also debut this summer. Reporting in the Wisconsin Dells, I'm Maddie Himes, News 3 Now. Dominic She's on her way back up to ride that slide again, folks. As the 2024 season over the Mallards is less than a week away, less than a month left before the premiere of the Madison Nightmares Softball League. Some major renovations are being shown off at Warner Park, including a brand new Jumbotron, the new video board, now three and a half times larger than the old one. Some other renovations include an artificial playing surface on the infield, a special, special Wienermobile at Warner Park, a 20-foot ice cream stand, and new flooring and decking. You can see all those improvements at Warner Park when the Mallards begin their 2024 season next Tuesday. First pitch at 535. Let's get a look at your first warm forecast. We're looking ahead now with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Alex? Eric, I'm outside here, just outside of the studio. As I mentioned earlier, it's one thing doing severe weather coverage for hours on end, getting reports of damage, seeing photos of damage, and it's another thing to be outside and actually see some of the damage. And this is small in comparison to some parts of the damage that occurred over southern Wisconsin. Let's go to Max One, our main weather computer, and show the sheer magnitude of tornado warnings across southern Wisconsin, absolutely unprecedented in my experience, even working out in Tornado Alley. Not uncommon to have many tornado warnings, but to have them so concentrated over a, a, a small area like south central Wisconsin and over and over and over again, that's not common. And luckily, the weather has calmed down significantly across southern Wisconsin. As I look outside right now, a couple clouds out here. We're, we do have a shower out to the west but nothing compared to what we were experiencing yesterday. That outbreak of severe weather verified numerous hail, damaging wind reports, and then of course, as we've been reporting all day, the extreme amounts of wind damage across southern Wisconsin. That one lone shower that I see off towards the north and towards the west here is over portions of Richland County. That shower near Dodgeville where they had golf ball sized hail last night, that shower is, is fizzling and it will continue to fizzle. We have dry air in place. We don't have that humid air in place. So even though Future Track is giving a couple of dots here as we move into the evening, it quickly wanes because of the loss of the heating of the day and the dry air that we have in place across southern Wisconsin. Actually, right behind that uh, box there, I wish I could move that here really quick, see if I can do that on, in real time. I can. There's that shower looking off towards the north and towards the west fizzling out, but there's another one behind it. Uh, and it, these few isolated showers, again, we're not expecting widespread activity tonight. Strong west breeze out here sustained at 14, but it's pretty gusty out here, and that dew point is low. I, I like to talk about the dew point when it's necessary. That is dry air in place, so that, again, is going to wane, fizzle these showers and isolated storms that have popped up. Let's look forward to the weekend, Memorial Day weekend. Saturday is the pick of the two. That's this
today you're going to want to maybe grill outside or be outside at 71 degrees. Fairly light winds. Sunday is looking showery, breezy, and cool the day to maybe plan indoor Memorial Day activities. Friday, though, we have our next chance of showers and thunderstorms. I said I'd bring this up here as we move into Friday. We do have a marginal risk of severe weather. Isolated is key with that. I'm sorry about the breeze out here. This is the windy conditions behind our weather system. But as we get past Friday uh, and going into the weekend, weather conditions Saturday, uh, excuse me, Sunday going on into Monday, going on into your Tuesday, we'll pick up another weather system. Sunday is looking like potentially more of a washout day. Memorial Day itself at 69 degrees on and off shower activity. I think there'll be some dry time on Monday and on Tuesday as well. We appreciate all those weather photos that have been submitted. Can they substantiate, they verify weather that's going on in southern Wisconsin? I like to report the weather, talk about the weather, educate the weather. It's also extra important to be able to show the weather to our viewers because it sometimes is that picture that uh, then causes somebody to take action like seeking shelter with a bad storm. Bit of time here for traffic. It looks like we do have an incident on the southwest portion of the Beltline that may be slowing down traffic a bit here in a moment. Otherwise, things are going okay at 50, 60 miles per hour. Very different scene tonight than last night when we had all the widespread shower and storm activity. 70 miles uh, on 30, 39 northbound and southbound in Janesville and to the northwest, 67 miles uh, per hour speed. Uh, speed uh, at this point in time on I-90 up towards the Dells. Definitely different in the traffic department and traveling tonight with conditions being quiet. All right, Alex, thank you. And next at five, it is the most common surgical procedure in the United States, C-sections. But are too many women experiencing more pain than they should during a C-section? How one medical group is looking to change that, that's next. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All you can eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. Transform your home in one weekend and get an 11% rebate on everything in Menards. Pittsburgh Ultra Exterior Paint is a paint and primer in one that resists cracking and peeling and has great durability, making it perfect for many outdoor projects. A gallon of flat is $27.98 after rebate. Get long-lasting color with Pittsburgh's Grand Distinction Exterior Paint. It's highly dirt-resistant and provides a mildew-resistant coating. Get a gallon starting at $41.79 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Sockbury Healthcare is here to help. To help with your shoulder pain. Your knee injury. That hip that bothers you. With your foot or ankle pain. We focus on quality. We focus on results. And take time to listen. So that your care is the best care. For you. 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 For you. We're here for you. Sock Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Listening, healing, caring. It's in our nature. Tina, the Tina Turner Musical. Tina Turner's triumphant story is live on stage in the mega hit musical, direct from Broadway. Prepare to be ecstatically blown away. Playing June 11th through 16th at Overture Center. Tickets at Overture.org. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org 
or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Introducing the new Sushi Lover Madison. All-you-can-eat sushi and hibachi at an amazing price. Now open at West Town Mall for lunch or dinner. Be sure to try Sushi Lover Madison. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Welcome back. Cesarean sections are the most common surgery in the U.S. About 1.3 million are performed every year. Regional anesthesia, either epidurals or spinal, is typical to ensure pain-free delivery, but recent research shows some still experience pain during the surgery. Daniel Backus looks at how one medical group is working to ensure that C-sections are pain-free. All right, want to say hi? Tiffany Zing's bundle of joy arrived in a way she wasn't expecting. She was induced at 39 weeks because she had borderline gestational diabetes. I labored through two and a half days, so it was a very long labor. 24, the first 24 hours were unmedicated. After those two days of labor and no baby, doctors suggested she have a C-section. Naturally, she had some fear. Just what if you're in, you feel the pain and what if you wake up you know I think that's the worst thing that could happen thankfully Tiffany didn't feel any pain during her surgery but research shows as many as one in seven women have some form of discomfort or pain during a c-section even after receiving anesthesia this is a problem and we want to help to make that number go to zero Dr. Mark Sikowski is the chair of the American Society of Anesthesiologists Committee on Obstetric Anesthesiology. ASA is offering new recommendations to make sure C-sections are pain-free, including maintaining adequate anesthesia throughout delivery, following up with new moms, and identifying risk factors for pain. Prior history of pain during cesarean or having had a spinal epidural that was not 100% effective in providing pain relief during the labor or needing a lot of extra medicine. Most importantly, he wants mothers to speak up. We're there to protect you. So if you're feeling something, say something and we can talk to you and see what's going on. Tiffany is thankful her anesthesiologist ensured she had no pain so she could focus on the pleasure of motherhood. Donya Back is CBS News, Los Angeles. Research also shows experiencing C-section pain during surgery is associated with psychological distress and increased post-traumatic stress disorder. And we'll be back with a final check of your first one forecast after a short break. I would like to tell you about the man I love, Eric, who is running for the U.S. Senate. A fourth-generation Wisconsinite, he started his first business in his 20s and then built and turned around over a dozen companies, creating thousands of good-paying jobs. He believes in the American dream, and he wants it to be possible for everyone. Above all, Eric is a man of integrity. These are the qualities I want in a U.S. Senator to fight for Wisconsin. How about you? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Like a bowl of cherries, life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel Community, the house that angels built. Rugabilitility. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable, rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com calls Honda the best value brand. Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. But we like Rugabilitility. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals. So see your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer today. Honda gets Wisconsin. 
Baraboo Furniture and Mattress is now open with an acre of quality furniture in our beautiful new showroom. We're celebrating with a huge store-wide Memorial Day sale. Save up to 60% on many items store-wide. Over a million dollars of quality name brands on display, including Flex Steel, Best, England, Spring Air, Amish Furniture, and much more, all on sale. Get special 24-month free financing. All credit welcome. Hurry in today to the huge store-wide Memorial Day sale at Baraboo Furniture and Mattress. Think Sloan's first. You know, the big thing about Sloan's is the ease of doing business. They make everything simple. We choose Sloan's and John Deere because we have availability of equipment, quality service, quality parts, and they have the ability to keep us up and running. Green Tag Savings Time is on now at Sloan Implement. Get your John Deere Z530 off with 4.9% for 60 months. That's as low as 93 per month. Power up with Sloan's. Think Sloan's first. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for Provo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, more than 100 search and rescue members on the ground after a deadly tornado ripped through Iowa, shredding homes and demolishing cars. We have the stories from survivors. That and more on tonight's CBS Evening News. And one final check of the forecast now. Alex is outside. Alex. Eric in southern Wisconsin, much quieter tonight. We have a little lone shower, too, in our forecast for tonight, but the evening should be quite nice. Temperatures falling from about 70 right as we speak. Right now, outside, we're at 70, down to about 62 by the time you join us for the 10 o'clock newscast tonight. Then as we move forward we, into the Friday time frame, next chance of thunderstorms, one or two of these could be strong during the late morning and early afternoon hours and our Memorial Day weekend. If you want to pick out of the two, Saturday is the winner. Sunday is going to be showered. Back to you in the studio, Eric. All right. We'll have more coverage of the storm's aftermath in a half hour on News 3 Now at 6. Stay tuned now for the CBS Evening News.